Hey, this is Renee and welcome to my own little world. It is time for week three of Peach Dober and we're going to start with day 16 and like always I'm using my Big Ma Micron fine liners, my Van Gogh watercolor set, some water fillable brushes from Sakura and some Posca pens. And the prompt for day 16 was Summit. And because English isn't my native language, I had to kind of look up what it meant, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it kind of means like being on top of a mountain. So my mind immediately went to Bon Voyage or like BTS in the Soup, it, at least like BTS on vacation and I really loved when they were in New Zealand I think they this picture that I used this reference is from when they were in New Zealand if I'm not mistaken and there's just something really peaceful about Yungi just looking over the path that he just took and just sitting it's just very calming to me, so I had to draw that. And this is the result. Then day 17, the prompt for display was Jar and my mind immediately went to Fairy Jimin <laughs> and I already drew this particular picture of him before and I really had so much fun that I was like, okay, I'm going to make an exception and I'm going to draw this again, but this time I will draw him in a jar because he's cute and small and I can say that because I'm small too <laughs> so I also went with kind of the similar color scheme as well because in the picture in the reference picture he has orange hair and, and even though I decided to use as much of natural hair colors as possible I really wanted to make his hair stand out because after all he's a fairy. I really wanted to go with the same color scheme that I did before when I drew this particular picture before and I really like how this one turned out. It's really cute. I also really like that you can see the color of the background through the jar. I think that's a nice detail. On to day 18, match. And after drawing this, I kind of regret, maybe regret is a too much of a big word, but I kind of regret that I didn't do anything with an actual match. But on the other hand, I also really like that I kind of took this prompt and made it into something of my own. And... I decided to draw Jungkook and V matching with matching hat pieces. I could have drawn Jungkook with a match from the winter season's greetings, I think, the winter greetings, but this was the actual first thing that came to mind, so and I had a lot of fun drawing this. So, in the end, I am kind of happy with how it turned out. And we'll save the other match drawing for another time. <laughs> Time. 
time for day 19 uniform and we already did a uniform before uh, with the prompt of scout but this time I really wanted it to be another uniform a different uniform and I really liked this picture of Jungkook so this was one of the first pictures that I saw when I tried to look up reference pictures and I just went with it because I really liked the angle and how he looks and I also really like that I got to draw a lot of details on the uniform which is something that I don't normally do because I really like to skip over hard parts of fabric <laughs> so I really wanted to kind of make myself focus on those particular details because I normally don't do that and I wanted to go a bit out of my comfort zone with each drawing that I do for this month so I feel like I, uh, I kind of accomplished that goal for day 19. And then we're already ready for day 20 and the prompt for day 20 was sound and at first I wanted to draw one of the members kind of in a sound booth like recording a song but I when I looked up some reference pictures I found this picture and it really spoke to me and I don't think I have drawn Jin that much so this was another good opportunity to practice drawing Jin because I don't really draw him that much because for some reason he's really hard for me to draw so this is good practice. I decided to not use that much different colors or bright colors because in the original picture he also doesn't wear a lot of bright colors even though my sketchbook has a very big problem with me using my black watercolors for some reason but I try to make sure not to overwork my paper that much And that's the end result. Day 21, sun. Oh, I just had to draw J-Hope for this prompt because, I mean, he is our sunny sunshine boy. And I... It was so much fun to draw him again because like I said in my first Beachtober video, he's kind of my default, my ultimate comfort zone. Whenever I feel like drawing something or someone, I just draw J-Hope and he's so nice for me to draw for some reason. So I really had a lot of fun drawing him. I used the reference picture from the James Corden carpool karaoke and because he's so cute in that photo. He just, he's so smiley and cute. So, um, and I drew a hat piece in kind of the form of a sun around it. I did draw his chin maybe a bit too pointy, but I mean, I can't complain. <laughs> I still really like how this one turned out. Day 22, heart. I had to draw someone holding a heart like from the go-go, one of the go-go stages. And to be honest, I don't really like how this one turned out. I mean, sometimes you have one of those days 
where you're just working on a piece and you're sketching and sketching and you just can't get the face right. And this is one of those days because it's supposed to be Jimin and I really did not do him well. I didn't do him justice and I'm very sorry about that <laughs> for all the Jimin stems out there. I really tried. I really did my best, but t today just wasn't that day. I'm really sorry. I do really like the bright color of the heart and his cap, but I don't really like his face. So, but you live and you learn. What can I say? Then day 23, I had so much fun drawing this. I, when I first saw the prompt harvest, I knew immediately that I wanted to draw this particular picture because Yoongi just looks so adorable in this picture. And I, I just couldn't resist drawing this. And also the cute little strawberries in the tray. It's just so wholesome. <laughs> so... I finally found an excuse to draw this picture and even though his face didn't really turn out how I wanted it to, I think that the space between his nose and his mouth is a bit too short and that's maybe throwing off his facial features a bit, but other than that, I can't complain and I just really like how it turned out. And then day 24, the last day for this video. The prompt for this day was bird. And with trying to find different reference pictures, I didn't really feel that inspired. And so in the end, I decided to draw. I think this is one of the images from the Wings trailer. Or it's from the Wings era. That that's what I know for sure. But I just drew Taeyong with some wings. It's not technically not a bird. I know that I it's a bit far fetched, but this was the thing that inspired me most at that moment. So I decided to just go for it. And I like how especially the feathers turned out in this piece. And that's it. And I will see you next week. I hope you like this video. Stay hydrated, stay tuned, and until my next video, bye!